Hi everybody, today we are going to learn Microsoft Excel. Now, what is Microsoft Excel? Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet program of Microsoft Office used to enter, analyze, and present quantitative data. So, we are going to open one new document, rename it to Tutorial. Yes. Yes, we have got it. In the Home tab menu, we can use any of the documents. There are different types. Here is the blank board. Welcome. For the beginners, we can start on the blank board. Before that, we are going to introduction, Excel basics, row, column, and cell, exploring MS Excel screen elements, navigating a worksheet, cell ranges, selecting cell ranges, and some exercises. So first. We have, we have already known the micro what is called Microsoft Excel. Now we have to know what is spreadsheet, what is worksheet, and uh, what is workbook. Then this total is the spreadsheet. A spreadsheet is a grid of rows and columns in which you enter text, number, and any of the result, calculation, etc. In Excel, the computer spreadsheet are called a worksheet and workbook. We can do several spreadsheets, like sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3. We can name it also by pressing function F2. Rename to as T1. So, so these are the columns. These are the rows and these are the sheets, sheet 1, so and this is cell. The cell name is, name is written here. Now we are going to enter some data that is for example name. If we press enter then it goes down like Printer. with shift printer we go up like alpha rubble charlie filter by pressing tab key we can to try by pressing shift tab we can go to the left so let's see this echo and echo has scored of 70, 60, 66 and if we want to go up we can press the navigate key by shift enter let's see 487 shift enter charlie score 49 shift enter and babu group shift 74 shift enter and alpha score what uh, for example 37 shift enter you can write the games C -R -R. and if we go to the left to correct the name then we can keep shift tab go to the name so our data encoding has been done now what we can do we can give this uh, table to a shape or we can add something or we can subtract so going to the formula clicking here if we click up to this after that if we click auto sum to sum then automatically this 313 is the total summation of these five data again if we want to uh, make the one average then after clicking here we can find out the average value that is 62.6 like this way we can find out also maximum value minimum value and everything if what we want 